the Canon R5. This camera caused quite a stir when it first came out. Um, before it was released and just announced, people were like, this camera is gonna just change filmmaking as a whole. They were just praising it and, and hyping it up. And then it came out and people just kind of decided to hate on it and kind of nitpick all the issues. So one year later, after it was released, let's kind of go over this camera again after the dust has settled and see where it lies. Is it a good camera? Is it a bad camera? Or is it somewhere in the middle? All right, so just in case you guys have forgotten the Canon R5 specs, let's go over them really quick. It's, it's been a while. 8K raw internal recording, 4K at 120 frames per second. You can buy the body brand new for $3,899. And if you want the kit lens, that's gonna cost you $4,999. Probably the most exciting for me is the Canon in-body image stabilization. All of this comes on the Canon RF mount. With that being said, let's go see what this footage actually looks like. All right, so I don't think we can go any longer on this video without talking about the elephant in the room, the overheating issue. This is the reason that everyone kind of turned on the R5 in the beginning because it would overheat really quick when shooting in 8K RAW. And at this point, Canon has released a new firmware update that they say will double the time that you can record in 8K before the camera gets too hot and has to cool down. So in my mind, the overheating issue is kind of solved. And personally, I have only been recording in the 4K option and I've been filming pretty intensively all day today and I have had zero overheating issues. Something that I was actually pretty curious about is how well the stabilization would do. And I was very surprised when I started filming with the R5 and the RF 24 to 70 that it is really, really good. I've been filming everything today handheld, everything from 24 all the way to 70 and Obviously 24 is gonna be pretty stable. It's pretty easy to do, but at 70 millimeters, the stabilization, it works really great. There's no jumpiness, there's no jitters, nothing that I can see. So I would say if you are a person that relies heavily on handheld filmmaking, um, this is definitely a win for the R5. So we all have different things that we value in a camera and just different things that we can't really live without. And for me, in my personal work, it's just so run and gun that I really need a reliable autofocus system. And something that was just super nice filming with the R5 today was basically whatever I pointed it at and said, focus on this, the camera was gonna do it. And that was just like another thing that was taken off my plate to think about and I could focus on the process and making my video. So, and this really isn't a shocker to most people who are familiar with uh, Canon cameras. They've kind of always been the best in autofocus with the dual pixel autofocus technology. But that's just something to point out is that the Canon R5 is also a beast when it comes to autofocus. And that's kind of the main selling point behind the Canon R5 is it just needs to be a workhorse, kind of marketed and it's built for a more professional filmmaker who might be on set, but also has to do a lot on their own. So I think that's where the R5 shines. It's, it's reliable, especially now with the firmware update. The AK internal recording is huge because then you don't need an external recorder and the autofocus is amazing. Color science has always been great with Canon cameras, which reminds me, I kind of want to do a test to just see how rich those uh, those colors and skin tones are. So I'll be right back. Check it out just in case. I'm just gonna have you sit right there. Yeah. 
there, sir. So obviously I have not seen that footage yet, but I'm willing to bet that it looks pretty darn good. Um, colors and skin tone have always been Canon's thing. They've always been the leader or one of the leaders. And uh, that was just a little test to see if that's still true. Now, should you buy the Canon R5? I think if you're looking for a, a workhorse camera that's capable of like true cinema quality and you need raw recording and you want 8K, and you need a camera that has just all the one-man band features with the autofocus and the stabilization, then I think it's a pretty good buy. This is an extremely capable camera, and my first-hand experience is it's reliable, and you can trust it. So that's the Canon R5 one year later. If you're looking for an R5 or another Canon cinema camera, head over to gearfocus.com and, and pick one up. Thanks, guys.